Hello, welcome back to Sports Key to Minecraft. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the top five hidden features in Minecraft 1.17. But before we get into it, I need you guys to hit that like button down below. While you're doing that, you might as well hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It helps us out tremendously. Did you do it? Okay, I believe you. Now it's time for the top five video, so let's get right into it. Number five is going to be waterlogged rails. You heard that right. You can now use rails in water. Before the 1.17 update, if you tried to place a rail in water or if water came in contact with the rail, it would instantly break. So this hidden feature is huge. The best part is, aside from just something accidental, like you broke the wrong block and flooded your rail system, which I know has happened to many of us over the years, is that now you don't have to worry about your rail system being near water anymore. If you're more of a creative builder, now you can make water rides or really anything of that nature. Number four is Drowns Drop Copper. Before the 1.17 update, Drowns used to have a slight chance of dropping gold ingots when killed by a player. However, new copper ingots have now replaced the gold ingots. So for every Drowned you kill in Minecraft 1.17, you now have a chance to find copper ingots. As of now, players cannot automatically farm copper in Minecraft. However, players can farm small amounts of copper using a Drowned farm. In the description, I've added a link to a video that shows a very quick and easy way to make a drown farm for yourself. Number three will be raw ore. Mojang has added raw ores in Minecraft 1.17. Mining iron, gold, and copper ores now drop raw ores instead of ore blocks. In addition, players can use a fortune enchanted pickaxe to get large amounts of raw ores over time. Similar to ore blocks, smelting one raw ore produces one ingot. However, players can also craft raw ore blocks using 9 raw ores. This way, players can save some space in their chests or inventories. Anything that will help with the never-ending problem of always having too much stuff is okay with me. Number 2 is Renewable Lava. Did you know that now you can make an infinite lava farm in your Minecraft world? Well, you can. The Minecraft 1.17 update added pointed dripstone and dripstone blocks. Using cauldrons and new pointed dripstones, players can farm lava automatically. However, it is pretty slow, so a single cauldron can't do much on its own. Down in the description, I have added a video link to someone who made an automatic lava farm for Minecraft 1.17. This design uses over 40 cauldrons for the lava collection. Wow. Before we get to number one, here are today's honorable mentions. First, we have bone meal. As we know from what we'll call the before time, Bone meal was really only used to speed up the growth of items in the game. You would use it to make your tree grow faster or make your crops grow faster, but now you can use bone meal to force new blocks to spread, like glow lichen and moss. Just take your bone meal and place it on the block, and as you keep placing, it will just keep spreading. That way, you can make your own little manual farm for moss and glow lichen. Last up for honorable mentions is going to be the new damage sounds. That's right. There are now three new sounds to when your character is taking damage. The first sound will be drowning. As I'm sitting here drowning, listen to the noise. It sounds much more bubbly than before, and you can almost actually hear your player gasping for air when you finally bring them back up again. Next is freezing. With the new powder snow block, you can actually hear your player freezing to death. It sounds kind of cryptic to me, with the crunching noise that it presents. It's like the crunch just comes at every moment your player would be trying to just stop freezing. Lastly is burning. If you catch yourself burning from fire or lava, you can actually hear the sizzle of your player's skin burning. Wow, it's almost gruesome in a way, but I love that they added these new little sounds into the game. And finally, today's number one top five hidden feature in Minecraft 1.17 goes to beacon visibility. Beacons are one of the most useful blocks in Minecraft. With beacons, players can gain various effects such as haste, regeneration, strength, and more. They are also used as decoration for their beautiful beams. Did you know that the visibility of a beacon used to only be 256 blocks away? Now it is 1,343 blocks away. That is over five times the old distance. So basically, you'll be able to see that beacon from way farther away than you used to. This will all depend on your render distance, of course. This has been the top five hidden features in Minecraft 1.17. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget that notification bell either. 
Let us know down in the comments what you thought of the video and which Minecraft 1.17 hidden feature is your favorite. Until next time, this has been Chris with Sports Key to Minecraft. Have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, then check out these videos on your screen now. I had a ton of fun making these and I would love for you to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Just click the Sports Key to Minecraft logo on your screen now to do so.